Hey everyone, so now we're going to go over the uh, the new functions in the data log viewer uh, from Holly uh, with V6 build 300. So these are some uh, some features and some things that uh, it's going to do that I've been asking for for a while. A lot of people have been asking for it for a little while. So um, this is a data log, right? So this is um, from my own personal car. We, you know, we zoom in and if you've watched my other videos, you know what we're doing here. We're zooming in. Um, so sometimes when you open up a data log, you've got a whole bunch of stuff, you know, all open. Now there's a one simple easy button to click toggle off and toggle on. So it'll turn them all on, turn them all off. So if you've got a whole bunch of stuff open on the screen, you're like, man, I don't really want to see RPM. Just toggle it off and then click RPM. And there it is. So that's a, that's nice. I really am a big fan of that one. Um, the, uh, the big change that they made is to the colors on the line. So this is really this is really nice. So if you click the E button for Edit Data Log Config, um, you'll notice that over here there's some stuff here that we're going to talk about. But first we're going to get to these colors. Over here, all of the they're they're all displayed, right? So if yours doesn't automatically populate, just press this button down here, Show Line Colors. So they're all displayed. Uh, what the color is going to be. So if you are looking at, like if you notice, I look at RPM, that is the first thing all the time. Before, you'd have to organize them to be in the right order in order to have the correct color. So if you're used to looking for a certain thing in a certain color, uh, this is actually rather beneficial. So if you spend a little bit of time, um, you can uh, you can make viewing data a lot easier. And notice if we move the, the uh, we move them around it keeps the color right so before it used to lose it so if we move dome you know what I mean if we if we move like ma uh, manifold air temp it's gonna keep the color so before it used to lose the color it would re it would rework the color into whatever was pre-designated for that slot so when you um, we'll come back to that um, when you right click on here double click on here and you go to style when you select this, right um what it does is it chooses what color you want that specific channel to be um and it does not change it for all of the views that we're looking at right so like drive shaft speed profiler is yellow if we hit okay if we come over here to drive shaft speed profile here it's in it's in green right so um so obviously we don't uh it does not it doesn't do it for every single color or every single view but if you double click this here again go to style go to dry shaft speed profile you can make it yellow if you want to then when you're done organizing these by color how you want them um, when you go into your edit data log you can move them around and they stay the same color so if you want them somewhere on this list in a certain spot uh, you can you can have it, but it'll still keep the same color that you uh, that you're used to looking at. So this was a big one. People used to spend a whole bunch of time setting up all the colors that they wanted for everything, and then it wouldn't save it, and it was rather frustrating. But this was a huge one that I'm actually quite happy about. Um, another thing in the data log when we're when we're looking at data logs, um, when we're building this graph setup, similar to what I showed you with the data view on the uh, the V6 software and not in data log the you can hit this button here that says hide inactive so what it's doing is if we look like we scroll over here this is all this stuff's inactive we can get rid of it so it's just whatever's active in the computer from this log right so now you have to keep this in mind that sometimes um especially with like advanced tables right um let's go over here you have to keep this in mind that uh when you if you notice right here 140 jet external is uh, is inactive, right? And uh, notice that we do not have 140 jet x. Where are we? Yeah, notice we don't have 140 jet external. We only have 90 being shown, right? Because it's inactive. It was not ran during this run. So um, if we you know click this and and show inactives. Uh, it'll still show it. So keep that in mind. The, uh, same thing with um, with uh, with these here, with all your advanced tables and whatnot. As you start, as you turn certain stuff on and off, you know, get you just have to know that if you're hiding an active, you may not be able to find it. But if you leave your data log view uh, here, 
the same all the time it'll still be in here it's just that it'll show no value because it wasn't active uh, another thing that we can do is we can hide an active and then we can sort so what this does is moves it alphabetically so um, if you if you weren't aware uh, it goes based off of the system and then injectors and then you know uh, individual cylinders and then diagnostics and then uh, you know a whole bunch of stuff happens here individual cylinder correction for fuel and for timing um, and then it goes through all the different uh, ICFs that are there so it's not in uh, alphabetical order and some people find this easier some people find it harder but if you go to uh, sort and then hide an active it makes it really easy to hunt down what you're trying to find right because if as long as you can spell it if you know exactly what you're looking for, right, we can come off a of sort, hide an active, and we can search for, say, a dome, right? So look at that. There's a, there's, a, there's a good example here, right? So dome offset one is an advanced table that I have that's not active in this, this global file that this log is from. So it pulled up all three of them. If we hit hide an active, it's gone, right? So that's a, that's a good thing to keep in mind if you're looking for that dome offset one, and you don't find it when you have it inactive that means that it was not in there you know when this when this run was made so um, that's a, a, a really cool feature that I'm rather happy with so um, another thing that's pretty neat that they added is uh, they have added so let's just do like two lines here right so they have added um, something with comparison features right so I use comparison data logs all the time um, hopefully if you're if you're tuning your own stuff, you're using comparison data logs quite a bit yourself. So let's open up a comparison. Uh, this was uh, test two, 441. Let's go with um, test three, drove right, right? So we'll just look at the two of those. It's on the same day. So one run was before the other. We'll open that up. Okay. So we zoom in and um, we've got, here's our, here's all of our, uh, um, our data from both runs, right? So the solid run is our original one, which is right here. And then the uh, dotted line is our comparison. So um, we can comparison and check the show comparison button. And now it is not there. So this is a very useful tool and I'm going to show you why. If we start adding a whole bunch of stuff here, right? Whoops. Um, so this is, this is already pretty confu confusing, right? So we go to comparison, then we hit show comparison. So now that can be rather confusing. But if we know that the run that we really want to work off of is the solid line, our first, our first run, we can go up here to comparison and we can uncheck show comparison. And now it's going to get rid of all of the comparison stuff. But the cool thing is, is that the values are still there, right? So the data traces aren't there but the values are still there. So um, that can be uh, rather useful when you start looking at say, um, so here we're looking at a uh, X axis G meter, right? So the, the second run, it drove right, but it was, it was the G meter was way ahead, right? So, um, but let's look at, but now if we wanted to see, you know, where did it drive right? Well, we can't see that because we have the comparison turned off. So if we go over here and turn the comparison back on, right? Um, let's get rid of some of this other stuff. There you go. So there's the comparison showing the, so the values are always shown over here on the left hand side, but the data traces are not shown when you turn off the show comparison. So that's rather useful in my opinion. I, I think it's a, a, a pretty good tool. So this is another update that they did um, for V6 build uh, 300 and i um, very happy with it and again to reiterate in the other videos that i've made um i have been running this for a while and not had any problems out of it no bugs no nothing um i helped um holly you know kind of test i did a lot more to test on the v3 stuff um but we've had no issues with uh with either so um don't be afraid to update and um start using all these uh these cool features that are involved so all right have a good one see you